Well, it looks like our volunteer subject has started to cross over the event horizon. Any last words before you cut off from the rest of the universe forever? Well, apparently, Wince is officially both stuck inside Sagittarius A, the supermassive black hole at the center of our Milky Way galaxy, and annihilated at the event horizon. Wow. wow. That's really... Bizarre. Let's see what our experts have to say. Black holes are places where space and time come to an end, and matter is crushed out of existence. You see the spaceship enters a black hole. Unfortunately, it's not going to work. You'll be torn to pieces long before you can enter into one. You'll be lost forever. And in fact, you'll die long before you come close to that black hole. So it's not going to be possible. According to one principle of physics, anybody who falls through a black hole experiences nothing special at the horizon, nothing at all, and simply falls through as happy as they ever were until they get near the singularity where they get crushed, where they get mutilated, where they get destroyed, where they get the... <laughs> where... <laughs> That's one story. The other story comes from Hawking's and Bekenstein's conclusion that there's a heat content on the surface of the black hole. It is hot. That's where all of this entropy is. The temperature gets higher and higher as you get down close to it. A philosopher falls in, and when it gets nearer and nearer to the surface of the horizon, gets cooked, gets evaporated, gets ionized, and eventually turned into just hot photons which go out. These were the two pictures which looked totally irreconcilable. Meanwhile, inside Sagittarius A, the supermassive black hole at the center of our Milky Way galaxy, Violator is in full operation, sir. The experiment is fully engaged. All right. Now that we have passed the event horizon and are now inside the black hole, while simultaneously operating the CPT Violator experiment, we have demonstrated the Susskind Hawking paradox. Or is it the. Uh... I found a discrepancy in the paradox, sir. What? Put it up on screen. At 2 minutes and 29 seconds into the video, the Susskind Hawking Paradox. But at 14 minutes and 38 seconds, the thought experiment is referred to as the Hawking Susskind Paradox. Oh no, not another paradox. Isn't that just an editing error, sir? Sure, but why let a good editing error go to waste? It appears that there is another parameter to our information paradox yet again. You see, Maxwell, I hadn't fully thought this thing out. I figured that I'd come up with something once we crossed the event horizon, and... Wait, you mean we came into this black hole without an exit strategy? Well... You mean we're stuck in this black hole? Yeah, but that's okay because I made yet another discovery. Oh, and before I forget, it will help us get out of here. I think... Anyway, here is the problem. In order to get the cobalt-60 and K-on particle emitter inside the CPT violator to demonstrate charge parity violations, the experiment must be cooled to super cold temperatures so that the atoms in the cobalt can be magnetically aligned together, which ironically is a form of symmetry. Likewise, in order to get the Hawking radiation to display charge parity symmetry, there must be a chaotic scrambling of the charge and parity information, which is not symmetrical. Just as Susskind's argument does not address how the scrambled, symmetrical information surrounding the event horizon can account for CP violations our experiment is displaying, I cannot account for how the asymmetrical information from this experiment which comes from a supercooled symmetry itself, can go back to being symmetrical through thermal oscillations of the Hawking radiation surrounding the event horizon of the black hole. In other words, both cases lead to the same problem. One form of symmetry can lead to asymmetry, and this asymmetry exposed to heat can lead to symmetry. What the Higgs is the relationship between symmetry and asymmetry in nature? 
The solution to this problem is more complicated than I anticipated, and to make things even worse, there is new data that needs to be considered before I can figure out how we can get out of this mess. So what are we going to do? You see, Maxwell, this is why I brought you along. I'm a physicist, Wintz, not a miracle worker. Just stick with me, consistently, and we'll get through this, and we both should come out of this thing preserved, I hope. Maxwell, set the controls for the heart of the black hole. We are going into the singularity. Given we really don't have any other options at this point anyway, but really, I think we're going to be okay. Will Wintz and Maxwell ever make it out of the black hole alive? Will Suskin, Tehuft, and Hawking ever find out? Can theoretical physics survive these paradoxical issues? And can Schrodinger's cat resolve this custody battle with his Siamese twin, the Downing Street Cat? The Grand Finale January 19th, 2013